Hello you guys. So today I'm going to do a Lush Haul video. So these are the things that I got in my Lush Haul. And now I'm going to turn the camera around and we can see what I got. Now I'm going to tell you what these smell like. And I'm going to do an individual video review and demo of each one of these so that I can put them in my blog entries for the product. But uh, right now I'm just going to check the smell because a couple of you were <laughs> warning me. <laughs> so I'll check the big blue first. And this is uh, the one that smells like big blue bath bomb. And it has lavender and lime and some seaweed. And so now I'm going to open it. And that's what it looks like. Let me go get the big blue here. Hold on. So, <laughs> as I'm wont to do, <laughs> I bought the Lush Big Blue Bath Bomb and a Lush Big Blue Bubble Bar called Bubbling Under. This one I got from the lush.co.uk mail order website. This one I got from the lush.co.uk slash kitchen mail order website. And this one I got from the Lush Kitchen. And all of these are called Big Blue. And Lush says that all of them are made to smell the same. And so the ingredients to all three of these on their labels are the same. And the scent is made with lavender, lemon, and seaweed. So they sell this bath bomb in all the stores. And they've had this one for many, many, many years because it's so popular. And this has always smelled to me like sort of like the ocean or it smells oceanic kind of so it smells like lime i smell the lime and the lavender strongly it's nice and then i smell this little inkling of seaweed in the background and on this one i smell that same lemon smell. I think I smell lavender. And so, I'll smell this one. Okay. I don't smell a lot of lavender. I don't smell the lemon, but I do smell the seaweed it's a, I smell the cocoa butter is what I smell. I smell the cocoa butter and the shea butter. That's what I smell primarily. And it is like a seaweed smell. So I smell in this batch anyway, mostly cocoa butter and kind of seaweed. And it's supposed to smell like this. I just used this in the shower and I'm going to have to rate this a one out of five folks. Just no. <laughs> Next I'm going to smell the Lord of Misrule one. And this is made with the uh, Lord of Misrule bath bomb and shower gel scent that, that we love. <laughs> so it has patchouli and black pepper. Mm. It's not as strong as a, you know, the shower gel or it's not as strong um, as the uh, bath bomb, but it smells lovely. And now I know what Comforter Gal was talking about. Um, Comforter Gal is a, a Lush YouTuber and I was watching her uh, Lush haul video and she was saying that Lord of Misrule is sort of smoother, I guess, than, you know, the shower gel or the bath bomb. Um, it's, it doesn't have that sort of, as much of that scent, you know, that peppery edge. So I would rate this a four out of five rating. 
Next is the Butterball. I need to smell some coffee so I can clear the scents from my nose. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna smell Butterball. It's so thick, right? Smells so good. I smell um, more of the alang alang than I would normally smell, like say in the shower gel or the bath bomb. It says a dash of alang alang adds an uplifting floral note to this comforting, chocolatey goodness. This one has jojoba oil, glycerin, fair trade cocoa butter, shea butter, alang alang oil, and synthetic musk, and is suitable for vegans. And uh, I do get a, a chocolatey smell from this, which I love, but I get way more a Lang Lang in uh, this than I do in the um, other Butterball products. I still love this. And um, it's not as, uh, what I would call not as sort of chocolatey, to me anyway, um, as, you know, the shower gel and such, but I'm loving this. <laughs> I would rate this a four and a half out of five. Um, you know, if it was just a little bit chocolatier, like the shower gel or whatever, it would be a five out of five. I'm so glad I bought this and I use it every day. <laughs> and then... The one I was waiting for the most. The Blackberry Balm Scented Sultana of Skin Body Conditioner. I can't wait. Mm. It's so pretty. I'm surprised that these aren't um, colored. You know, because I think the Sultana lotion was uh, kind of a light lilac purple color. And the Blackberry Balm is uh, purple. So, in fact, do these have color? Let me see. Oh, Lord of Misrule here. Oh, it doesn't have any color to it. I thought it would be, you know, the same color as, you know, like the shower gel or... Um, or the uh, bath bomb because all of the other um, lush body conditioners let's see one two three four or five that they've made all have color in them but these don't so let me see big blue does that have color that should have color i mean it should be blue right cool. like chris dingle it's like totally white okay well, <laughs> and the Sultana. Mm. It's supposed to smell like Sultanas. I love this scent. I just do. As you guys know, I'm in love with frankincense. So, again, it's not quite as strong a scent as I'm used to with, with you know, like the Blackberry Bomb or... Uh, or the other Sultana, the soap and such, but but what scent there is does smell nice to me. I'm going to use the heck out of this as well. I would say this is a four and a half out of five rating. I would rate this a four out of five rating. If it had a little bit of color and a little, little bit stronger scent like the product it was named after, then this would be a five out of five. So I'm gonna rate this a four out of five rating. I thought this would be purple, I really did. But uh, that's why if it was a little stronger and a little little lightly colored uh, purple, I would give this a five. But as it is, because it was uh, costly to buy this and it is so big and such, um, you know, uh, I was expecting, you know, a little bit of color and a little bit, you know, a, at least as strong of a scent as the product that it was named after. But, uh, so that's why I give it a four out of five. 
but uh, this is still great and I'm still gonna use every drop of this and love it so you know I gotta say I didn't I am not pleased with the big blue uh, body conditioner it just it, it just has no all I smell is cocoa butter and shea butter it, it has like a almost like a slight seaweedy smell I had two other people here uh, smell it and I didn't I didn't premise it with anything I just gave them you know gave them a big blue bath bomb the bubbling under and the pot of big blue body conditioner and I just said what do these smell like to you <laughs> and they smelled them and they told me what they and when they got to the body conditioner they said nothing and the other one went, I, I kind of smell that. So <laughs> I love you, Lush, but they're $36 or $38, $40, I don't even know. We'll put some color in them. <laughs> so that's my Lush haul. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. And I'll try to answer as soon as I can. And I still am waiting for my... Uh, Lush Valentine's products from Lush North America and from Lush UK. So, so I'll be doing another Lush haul when I get those as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there. And thanks for watching and we'll talk to you very soon on the next video. Bye-bye.